Hey what's going on guys and welcome back to another blended tutorial. So in this tutorial we'll create a scene where our object morphs into a cloth. So and give it a water texture so that so it looks like the object is turning into a glass. And uh, if you're a beginner you can just refer the green glass keys on the bottom left corner of the screen so that you get to know what and all I'm pressing on the keyboard and it just helps you a lot now uh, if I forget to tell you a shortcut then you can just refer that uh, saying that we'll just go into the edit mode and then the data will create our vertice group and uh, press assign and we'll go back to object mode and under modifiers we'll add a modifier called uh, vertex weight proximity and under weight vertex group we'll add a Group, our group which we created and for the target object we need to add a empty so shift a empty plane axis and we have two keyframes so we'll just move this a little bit down and press i on our keyboard so to create a keyframe and we'll go to frame 116 and move it upside so i'm just gonna move it over there and press i on the keyboard to add a keyframe over there so that when you play our empty moves through our object and uh, after you've done that uh, we'll select our object and uh, under target group we'll select our empty and set the proximity to geometry and uh, we'll go to weight paint and and uh, when you play as you can see wherever there's our empty you can see a blue tint and uh, wherever there's a blue tint there's cloth so we'll just increase the highest to uh, 3 and lowest to 2.5 kind of thing it depends on your computer and your thing just experiment is that so wherever this blue is gonna turn into a cloth so we're just gonna play again and see uh, as you can see I just kept the highest and lowest to a little bit higher so I'm just gonna set the 2.5 to the highest and lowest to the 2 and play so now we get this kind of thing and this is exactly what we are looking for and uh, and if the entire object is red make sure you uh, increase the radius over there and just paint it i mean if the entire object is blue just paint it to red otherwise it won't work <coughs> and we'll go back to object mode and uh, we'll add a, another modifier called simple deform modifier and uh, uh, under origin we're gonna set it to empty and under restrictions we'll select our group and now you can see wherever there's red uh, the uh, thing applies simple deform modifier applies so to revert this we're gonna just click that arrow button so now wherever there's blue uh, is gonna change so uh, this uh, cool feature plus cloth gives it a real kind of ripple kind of effect so that's realistic and you can just play with the angle whichever angle you want so saying that we'll go to physics step and add a, add a cloth modifier as you can see our object is vanished because there's gravity and the gravity is pulling downwards so it's just fallen down so to avoid this we're just gonna disable the gravity so just go under the field weights and turn off gravity and uh, we'll just uh, increase the collision quality to 10 and uh, enable self collision and under pin group you're just gonna pin the group which we created in the beginning of our tutorial and set the shrinking factor to minus 0 0.05 and uh, we'll, serve, we'll just turn off the tension compression and shear under the stiffness and set the quality settings to 10 it depends on your cpu if your cpu is very strong you can go up to 20 but mine i'm good at 20, 10 so after you've done that we'll just uh, go under the cache and set the end frame to 160 and bake it so once our bake is over we'll just play and see and as you can see we get this cool effect and it looks very realistic 
so you might think this is the end of the tutorial but it's not because we have to deal with the textures so what we're gonna do is that we're just gonna so we're just gonna expand that tab and uh, change the viewport to geometry nodes and i'm just gonna press on to new and add a capture attribute node so search capture attribute and i'm just gonna plug that into value and plug the attribute to the that point and uh, after you've done that we'll just go back to geometry nodes because i mean modify because geometry nodes is a modifier and under value we're just gonna press that plus kind of thing it's not a plus but it's kind of a plus and set the value as our group which we created in the beginning of our tutorial because yeah and uh, under attribute we're just gonna type weight so w e i g s t weight and uh, after that we're just gonna go back to our uh, shader editor and under here we guess we can see our node group and a glass room is is important to have a glass or you can have whichever you want and we'll add a uh, if you want this kind of uh, minimized kind of thing what you can do is that you can just select all the nodes you want to uh, subgroup it and press command g or control g if you're win using windows so it creates a subgroup and the yeah it looks like this and we'll add a mix shader just pop that in and uh, pop the glass node to the another shader you can use any nodes you want for this tutorial i'm using a glass node and uh, we'll add a color ramp and plug that into the factor and uh, add a attribute node and i'm just gonna plug the color to the factor of the color ramp and under uh, value i'm just gonna type weight and as you can see we already got our uh, transition effect and as you can see it's uh, reverted so to flip the colors I'm just gonna go over here and plus that uh, arrow button and just press flip colors and uh, now you can see we got that cool effect and um, that's it set up some lighting camera etc etc and that's it if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you loved it please give it a sub because it helps me a lot and keeps me going and yeah stay tuned for the next tutorial thanks for watching guys